Hebrews chapter 10. If you're there, say amen. Amen. There are basically three verses that I want to read for you. I want you to listen intently, even though you've heard me quote it quite a bit. I want you to listen. I want to begin reading at verse 35. These words have been written for our edification. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God you might receive the promise for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry God bless you for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. I want to spend a few moments this morning and I want to teach from the subject just beyond the hard places. Just beyond the hard places. Amen. Amen. You know, as, as Christians, most of us can testify to the fact that even as a child of God, living as we do in this present world, can, can present us sometimes with some very challenging and difficult and disturbing and even frustrating periods in our life. And I chose the word period because I didn't want to use the word moments. Because sometimes moments signify that they're just brief. But how often has been our experience that some Frustrating things last longer than just a moment. Yes. All right, all right. Yes. So there are literally periods of difficulty and periods of challenges that we face. Yes, right. uh, we, we've, we've in fact learned from our own experience, our personal experience, that storms do not discriminate. They are neither partial, they are not particular. They can come upon us suddenly and treat us so intensely and hang on to us so persistently. Difficult times. And, and, and we, we can so easily and, and so often find ourselves struggling in the midst of a persistent, stubborn, unforgiving problem. We can find ourselves there. A problem that, that's battling against our faith. It, it may even be a problem that, 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 that has exhausted our thinking. You ever been in that place where it is, you're tired of trying to find a solution? Amen. If you're honest, you say amen. Amen. A, a problem, in fact, that, 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 that seems to be outlasting our prayers and all of our petitions. A real problem. A problem that's beginning to affect who we are and what we do. Now, it, it, it's... It's something that we had not planned for. 
it may be something that we had not anticipated. It normally is. Because you see, we had already painted this very different picture of how our lives were going to be. We, we had set in motion a, a very specific course of events. We had mapped out this unique direction we were going to take. Number of goals that we were going to accomplish. Milestones that we were going to reach. Blessings that, that we were all going to receive. Acquisitions that we would make. Things we would possess. It was all pretty much laid out. And it was either in progress or just about ready to take off. But for many of us, those plans now seem to have come to an impasse. In fact, what we were looking for now seems to be all whole. It almost appears to be an unreachable end because we have become bombarded with so many other side issues that all the side issues together have become a major issue. I'm just talking about real living, real life. I'm talking about what happens. I'm not going to paint you this glory cloud and, and bed of ease. Thing. I'm talking about what happens living in this world as a child of God. Amen. Looks like all of our things are stalled on the drawing board. Good Lord. And as hard as we try, we can't resuscitate our progress. So we become unhappy with our present situation. We become unfulfilled with what we've done. I'm talking about reaction now. And I know you've been there because I've been there. We become, in fact, dissatisfied with what we have. We, be, we become disillusioned with what our future is going to hold. We become disturbed over our own disappointments. We get disconnected from our drive and from our motivation and from our willingness to move forward. We get, we get discontented with our routine and with our schedule because it seems like that's all we got now. The same thing every day, the same way, the same time. The routines have discontented us. We get dismayed over what looks like failure. We get displeased over our lack of achievement. We get distressed by our own inabilities without pushing our inabilities aside. So what happens? So we halt any further effort. 